It's your host, Kanika Lal, for Shine on Hollywood Magazine. Right now, I'm at the 42nd Annual Creative Arts Daytime Emmy Awards at the Universal Hilton. What makes this particular awards different? What's really going down? Keep tuning in to Shine on Hollywood so you can have all the information. You guys are obviously the head hunches of this academy. Tell me now what goes into organizing this type of event. I, I joined the academy November 1st. I haven't slept yet. It's true. It's you true. look like you ha you're well rested because of the way you are, so I don't believe that, but I take your word. It's plenty of Starbucks. You know, the people, I mean, especially in the daytime dramas, are the most prolific workers in the whole business, where on primetime you'll do 15 or 20 episodes, they do 250. And the actors might shoot 60 pages in one day and then come back and do it again tomorrow. Because I heard from a lot of actors that they're typecasted as one type of character and it's hard to break out. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you Well, I think it depends on who you play and how long you played that character before. Um, I've only been on Bowls and Beautiful for two and a half years and my character is a handsome, intelligent, sophisticated guy. See, that's you in real life, man. I, I don't mind being typecasted as that. It's not a bad typecast. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do as a couple besides, of course, acting and helping each other? We, like, we do everything. Together. We do a lot of stuff together. We together. work out together. We watch The Voice together. Stop! I'm jealous. I'm really jealous. No, I'm. So, that's really cute. I'm really happy for you guys. I know all about the makeup and the hair and all the like, little no, things now. Trust me. Hair. Holy he crap! Hair makeup artist. You got him right here. I, 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 the he's the true. He's the true opinion, right? He's not gonna. Absolutely. No one else will tell you. It like, never no. counts. Hey, should I wear A or B? Uh, a looks good. Okay, I'll wear C. And I'll <laughs> look at these nails. Like, Hey, look at my nails. These nails like, give me special powers. Hard down the middle, two twist braids going to the back. When you wake up, pin it up like a, just pin it up, to quick pin, take it out in the morning, zhuzh it, throw your hair over, and go. Hello, hello, hello. You know, I started uh, in 1970 on a soap opera called Love of Life in New York on CBS. And now I, I've come full circle, I'm back on a soap on CBS. I was surprised that I was nominated. I'm happy to be nominated, and I'm, I'm happy to be here, and if I don't win, it'll be fine. The people that are in my category are wonderful. I've, I've, I've loved them all for years. Why are you wearing this? Uh, well, I'm, I'm uh, celebrating the invention of popology. It's hot here, and I, you're a brave warrior. I was First, a wrestler in high school, so I know how to wear, you know. All right, popology, you keep shining on. So I just heard a little bit about your show. Can you tell the viewers what it's about? Islo's Eye is, it's complete drama. Yes. yes. It happened, it takes place at a school in East LA. You got an all Latino cast and everything that could possibly happen in high school happens. Now I want to talk about the Latino cast for a second. For us to be able to be on a show where we can actually be ourselves, a true representation of who we are is absolutely amazing. Spanish to the viewers. What would you say in Spanish? What do you want to say? Everybody should do the uh, George Lopez Orale. Orale! <laughs> Apparently, the most competitive category this year, which is uh, outstanding drama series and new approaches. It covers any uh, digital media, online media, all that. No wonder it's competitive. It's about digital media, which is where everything is headed towards. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because as we were walking down this uh, press line, we realized everything here is is internet. Yeah. Isn't that kind of scary how everything's going towards digital? What what, what what are the pros and the cons? I say the closest thing to a con would be that it doesn't have quite the pedigree, but that's only time is going to diminish that one. And uh, the pros, I mean, people can tune in whenever they want at their convenience where they don't have to go nuts. The major pro about it is that it's the television of the future. No yeah. doubt, hands down. It's hot in here. It's so hot. You gotta leave, girl. It's like, you know, it hot. You want, <laughs> you want to have a red carpet glow, but I'm having it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Tell me now what else you're working on. What can we expect from you? I do have a bilingual comedy coming out that I was in. And that's coming out this summer. It's called Tongue Tied. Don't miss it. Don't miss that. What are the two languages? What is it? What's Spanish. Yeah, and I also have a. Have you heard of Orela? Orale. Orale. <laughs> Honestly, congratulations on all your success. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Love her. 
That was definitely one of the most interesting and diverse red carpets I have been to. From the makeup artists to the soap opera actors themselves, they were as bold and beautiful as daytime television is. For all your favorite interviews, tune in to Shine on Hollywood, and of course, follow me, your host, Kanika Lal.